What's good? I told y'all we're running it right back, back to back, just like Drake. That was kind of lame, but what's good? We're doing a shooting guard now. You're a straight playmaker. You get five Hall of Fames. You get 16, 19 badges total. Hall of Fames, Dimer, Ankle Breaker, Pick and Roll, Maestro, Lob City Passer, Flashy Passer. Okay, now if you mix it with a slasher, you get ankle breaker. Your dunks are halfway, layups are a little more. Ball handling is great, passing is great. Speed, acceleration, stamina is pretty good too. I actually didn't notice this one, you know, I mean, I want to shoot though, but it actually is pretty decent. Playmaker slasher. Actually, is. but playmaker shot creator, you got the ankle breaker hall of fame as well. All right, but you're gonna shoot mid range way better. All right, you're gonna shoot your three point better. Of course, your dunks and layups ain't gonna be as high, but your speed acceleration are a little bit higher. Uh, passing is the same, but the white bars are nice though, so passing is a little bit more the shot creator, and you get 11 you get 20 badges in total with that now that's the one that I picked if you do playmaker mixed with a 3 point shooter you get 0 hall of fame badges you got the ball handling and the passing 3 points pretty good mid range is ok of course your dunks are all the way low but your speed and acceleration are pretty decent. Stamina is high. So if you want, you know, somebody that could sauce a little bit and shoot. But at the same time, like I said, you ain't got no Hall of Fame badges with that three-point shooter. Only way you get the Hall of Fame badges with three-point shooter is if you do a pure three-point shooter. At a shooting guard. That's probably the best shooting archetype there is. Except for maybe the power forward. But in my opinion, this is the best one. Catch and shoot, deep range, that I limited this range, corner specialist. You'd be smoking stuff out there. Look at your three points all the way, mid range almost. But your slow acceleration is not good. Stamina is actually pretty high. That's pretty surprising. And if you switch up the first one, we went through shot creator and playmaker, you get tired of scoring difficult shot. If you remember before, you got the ankle breaker only. This one, you got 15, you got 21 badges, which is one extra badge. All right. You do get the mid range on gold, so that's pretty good. But your speed and your acceleration takes a hit if you do it that way. You'll make more tireless shots and difficult shots, but in my opinion, you got the ankle breaker, you get the space, you don't need the tireless for a difficult shot because you can create space. So, those are probably the best ones out of here. Like I said, unless you're going to do a pure archetype like a three point or you do a pure shot creator you get the difficult shot tireless score tear dropper and mid range with a total of 20 badges the pure playmaker on this as a shooting guard you get dimer ankle breaker pick and roll maestro lob city and flash of passion but see i didn't go with that because you take a hit on your mid range Take a hit on your dunking if you do that. Take a hit on your layups if you do that. You barely lose out on ball handling if you're a shot creator. You barely lose out on the passing. And it's basically the same with speed and acceleration. Maybe minus one or two from each category. You know, you do only get the one Hall of Fame when you're the shot creator mixed with the playmaker versus the pure playmaker. But like I said, I don't know. I mean, Dimer's okay, but the other ones I can really care less about. Pick and roll, Lob City, Flash, and Passer. They just really mean nothing. Because you're going to do a total defender. That's what your lockdown looks like. He's pretty much all the way in the bottom eight categories. So, y'all could look at this. Y'all can soak it up. Rewind back in it. Whatever y'all got to do. Y'all can see Y'all make a pure slash, you get posterizer, relentless finisher, acrobat, one man fast break. So that's a pretty good archetype as well for a shooting guard. You got 22 badges total with him. 
and his layups and dunks are maxed, which is beast. But look at your mid range, your three point, your ball handling ain't too great. I mean, it's alright, but your speed is actually pretty good, though. Acceleration, I'm surprised about that one. Stamina is pretty high. Strength ain't all that. I would think your strength should be higher, but whatever. So, y'all stay tuned. Next one, small forward. We're going to get it. Peace, y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hit that like button. We out.